Hello there, friends. Welcome back to Fall of Porcupine. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Last time we came in for day two, which I think went a lot more smoothly than day one, at least, at the hospital. Uh, and right now, we're deciding to spend some time with Mia after work. I think we had the choice between Mia and... I'm forgetting his name, but the guy who was stuck in the elevator. Forgive me. Um... Mia wanted to go do sports, the other guy wanted to go drink, and I decided sports would probably be the better option. Uh, so we don't wake up hungover. I don't know if that's actually a possibility. Um, but I'm gonna play it safe. And sports, you know? That sounds fun. Oh, okay. These are just cars. Cool. Alrighty, so we've actually never been back here. I'm excited to see... Oh, okay. <laughs> that is a dead end. I uh, see what's back here. Oh, look at the reflection in the water. That's really cute. Full of details like that. Again, I cannot get over the art style for this game. I absolutely love Finley's design so much. I like his little, like, feathers on top. I love his eyes. Just very expressive. Okay. Do I know where I'm going? Absolutely not. Am I going the right way? Hopefully. No, no, maybe not. Maybe not. All right, bear with, bear with. I'll find it eventually. I think it might be down from here. Yeah, this way. Let's see, where are we? We look like we're in more... Oh, here we go, in more of the town area now. Wow, what's happening here? Hmm, what do you think? After a long day, I need to work off a bit of energy. The university clinic where I used to work had its own sports field. I discovered this hidden gem last week. I here represent to you. Nice. You want me to join in? That's the plan. Today we're playing basketball. You know how to shoot hoops, right? I was always good at school. I got teased a lot for being one of the youngest. But I always got the baskets. Alrighty then. Looks like I chose the right guy to play against. Let's see who wins. Ready? Uh, hopefully. Just what I wanted to hear. Here we go. Oh, this music, though. <laughs> Thrown for a hoop. Keep yourself fit. Hold uh, square to charge your throw. Release to throw. Score basket with the special ball to get three points. Whoever has the most points at the end is the winner. Oh, okay. Oh, that wasn't a very good one. Oh, I still got in. Yeah. Oh, look at me go. Look at me go. I'm doing good. Cute. Look at my little outfit. Oh, I think I just helped get it. Oh, that was my ball. There we go. Oh, yeah, I blocked her. Get out of there. Yeah, nothing but net. I was never very good at basketball in school. I am short. I have weak little arms. Oh yeah, you know I did good. It really showed me. I didn't know you were so good. Oh, I think you just caught me on a good day. The last time I played basketball was at school. When I start a team in Porcupine, you have to join me. Okay. So, Finley, how do you like it here? Not just work, in general. Porcupine. 
It's nice here. I mean, I kind of haven't had much time to get to know the town yet. I haven't even unpacked all my boxes yet. And when I was- or, sorry, then I was out of action for a while. Feels a bit like when I first started university. A little lonely. Really? But you're already fitting in so well. How do you mean? Well, somehow you get along with everyone here. And it feels like I don't know anyone yet. I feel a little lonely. Every time I move town, it gets a little harder somehow. I had a few friends at school. Even at university, I struggled to meet people. And in Porcupine, I really only know the people from the hospital. You really think I'm fitting in well? Totally. Funny, I feel the same way as you, actually. Really? That's a surprise. I haven't had much free time so far. And when I do, I never have the energy to do anything. It's tough to get to know anyone. But I've made up my mind not to get bogged down in work. I make sure I always save some energy for trying out new things. Meeting new people. Maybe even making some friends. I'm sure we'll both find friends here. Whenever you want to try something new, you can always let me know. I will, but that's enough for today, I think. I'm starving. I need to make something to eat. Besides, some of us have the early shift tomorrow. It's your first night shift, right? Yeah, I hope it goes all right. I'm sure it will. I believe in you. But I've got to run now. See you tomorrow night. That's cute. I like that. That was fun. Uh-huh. Yeah, we got achievements. You know it. Alrighty. Let's go home. Can't wait to sleep in tomorrow. Oh, um, you know what? This might lead nowhere. But should we go kind of explore around a little bit, maybe? See if there's anything out and about? Because I know, and again, I'm, I'm comparing this game a lot to Night in the Woods. They are very, very different. I wouldn't necessarily say they're all that similar. Um, but I know in that game I had a lot of people comment and be like, Oh, you know, you should explore around more because there's a lot of stuff that I missed. Right? And I don't really want to do that here. Okay, those are very unnecessarily bright. <laughs> it doesn't look like there's much here, though. That's a bit of a shame. Um, but it's one of those games that I do plan to go through again, just like on my own, you know? Try to, uh, see all that there is to see. Alrighty, well, you know what? Good, honest attempt. Let's go to bed and, uh, see what's in store for tomorrow. My apartment's a mess. Actually, it's not that bad, is it? I mean, it's only gonna get messy again anyway. And then I'll just have to tidy it up again. Maybe I should just maintain a consistent level of chaos at all times. Eh. I should put my laundry away at least. Otherwise, I'll end up lying around all week. I hope my lazy future self appreciates this. Honestly... Yeah. Treat your future self right. Do your stuff early. Take it from me. I'm a bit of a procrastinator. I know it all too well. Feel free to help me out a little. After all, you live here too. That reminds me, actually, you're behind on rent too. There we go. Got a little fan going. Get our laundry. Good. Um... Oh, there's some more. No, oh, oh, hello. Been low. Hey. Pina, is that you? Bingo. What's up? How's stuff? What's the goss? You still in bed after the accident? Yeah, no, I'm back on my feet now. Even played basketball with a colleague yesterday. You play basketball? I wish I'd seen that. Anyway. Are you free right now by any chance? I'm, uh, yeah, I'm still at home. I'm on my first night shift tonight. 
so exciting. Are you nervous? Nope, not yet. I'm sure that'll change later. Sounds like a little distraction would do you good. Think you could swing by my store? I could use your help. I want to check out the high street anyway. Sure, I'll stop by. Perfecto, thanks so much. See you soon. Alright, I guess we know what we're doing. Uh, I met Pina on my way to work. She's a very she's very nice and has a flower shop in Porcupine. She's my first real contact here. Pina invited me to her flower shop before work today. Um uh, you invited me to work out after work today. That's a pretty good idea. I could use the distraction. She's on the school sports ground. Okay, so that was from yesterday. Do I need to put away my laundry? Do I have a laundry bin? Am I still holding my laundry? I'm going to assume it's been put away. Okay, let's go find the high street. And, uh, check out the flower shop. Oh, hi, it's you again. How are you? Well, hey there. Don't I normally see you walking the other way this time of day? Night shift. At St. Ursula's. That's right, I'm a doctor there. Oh yeah, I've seen you heading that way in the mornings. Got me thinking, actually. I wanted to be a doctor once. Then I changed my mind. Too stressful, I figured. Always good to know a doctor, though. That's true. And you, uh, and you know a homeless guy. <laughs> Who knows when that'll come in handy, eh? Um... Do you need anything? Old Afio don't need much. A quiet corner, a snack every now and then. Can't complain, eh? Fair enough. I respect that. Oh, it's doing that thing again. Bear with. Aha. Uh -huh. This morning, Alfio was sitting in front of my door. He doesn't seem to have a place to stay. Okay, so that's pretty much what we saw last time, too. Um. I do not know where the high street is going to be. I wonder if it's past all that construction, maybe? Okay, that has a flower sign on it, so maybe. Oh yeah, look, he's blocking up there today. Perfect. This works out in my favor anyway. Actually, I wonder if that construction was why the bus didn't come the other day. It just suddenly dawned on me. Oh no. Pastries. My only weakness. What dastardly villain placed these cinnamon buns here? In broad daylight. I'll find you, you scoundrel. I will find you, and you will taste my sweet revenge. Oh, I too love a good cinnamon bun. Oh my god, you're up on the roof. Are you okay? Are you... I'm hoping you're meant to be up there, but, you know, you're a bird, so... Hi. Oh, that... Oh, that's not you, sorry. I used to love sending postcards. If I ever have time, I'll send one to my parents. I'm sure they'd be delighted. Oh, I can talk to you. Hi, my name is Chloe Colbert. I run Origami, the stationery store. Do you have a moment to answer a few questions? Um, sure. Oh, super. We've noticed that our revenues have been on the decline for some time. So we're conducting a survey of Porcupine's residents to see what we can do. All right, shoot. All right. So first question, approximately how many pens do you own? Oh wow, that's a tough one right off the bat. I guess if I had to put a number on it, maybe five? Five pens, okay, okay. How many times a day do you use a pen? I needed a lot of them when I was at university. These days I do most things digitally. Even the hospital went digital just before I moved to Porcupine. I see. What about paper? Do you use paper? For writing? No, not so much. Okay. All right, that's it. Thank you for your time. We'll try to pivot our portfolio to meet the current needs of Porcupine's population. No problem. Happy to help. Interesting. Chloe runs the stationery shop in Porcupine with her brother, Lewis. Don't know how we knew that, but if you say so. No pedestrian zone is complete without a hair salon. At least this one doesn't have some labored pun in its name. Hair today, gone tomorrow. Curl up and die. Shortcuts. I've seen them all before, and every time they make my skin crawl. Curl up and die is kind of funny. <laughs> oh! 
Uh... Emma now, White Pigeon. Finbo! Are you okay? Are you hurt? Am I dead? Uh... <laughs> You're the unluckiest person I know, you know that? I just want to come and help. I know, thanks, and you really have, too. What do you mean? I need an idea from my facade. It's like you sorted that out for me. I'm just glad I brought all the plants in first. It looks suitsy. You should wear it more often. You think? Absolutely. It adds that much needed touch of color to your face. What if it dries on me? Do you want to come in and wash up? I better had, right? I don't want to stain the beds on the ward later. Let's get to it then. That's my super duper fast dry paint you're wearing there. That's more like it. You really are a walking disaster area, aren't you? First a box hits you on the head, and now a bucket of paint. Maybe it really is just bad luck. You know what I just realized? I haven't even been inside your store before. Nice place you have here, I'm impressed. Thank you, I put a lot of work into it. How's business going? How do you think? I love my plants. So does everyone else. Are you still looking for an assistant? If you're interested in the position, I'll be expecting a formal application, young man. Hey, it was worth a shot. How's your head? I'm starting to get used to the bumps. We'll buy you a helmet with a capital F on it. That way everyone can see you coming. And ruin my hair? Never. You got time for a day out tomorrow? You know I don't actually want a helmet, right? No, I want to go to Glow Milk Woods. Want to come with me? Finley, can you hear me? Hello? What? I think I still have pain in my ears. Some careless person dropped a bucket on my head. I'm really sorry. That's alright, yeah, I'm in. Woodlands air is good for the health. Great. Okay, time for me to head off to my night shift. See you tomorrow then, we'll just meet up at my store again, okay? And watch your head, Finley. Watch my head indeed, we're still not fully clean. <laughs> Do you water all your flowers with this tap? What? No! Got some strange notions about how my job works. Wow, that's a lot of plants. Yep, raised them all myself. Is my plant from this shelf too? Yes, I picked out a really pretty one for you. Oh, thanks, but I think they're all pretty. There we go. All right, well, we're a little paint covered. And I have a feeling a certain... Oh my god. A certain Dr. Krosky might have something to say about it. Let's be in his car. Room for two people and 38 plants. Amazing how cluttered it is for someone in, so in touch with nature. I'm hoping I can go this way to get to work. Let's see. The back pocket is the only grocery store in Porcupine. It closes at 5 in the evening. I miss the days when I could order things around the clock. Yeah, I've gotten very, very used to that. <laughs> Olive oil prices are rising. We've never had such a warm fall. Hmm. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, it says here that the Sandalwood Wanderers have won the championship. Shame I don't care about sports. If I did, then at least I'd have some good news to enjoy. Yeah, I'm not really one. Oh, I'm not one for sports either. Oh my god, it's so bright in there. There are always fresh, locally grown vegetables here. I should eat more healthily. I mean, yeah, that might be an idea. You're a doctor. Lead by example. Hello, sir. I'm bouncing my way downtown. But hopefully bouncing my way towards the hospital, too. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, hi! Hey, hey, hey. Yo, hey, Doc! Larissa, good to see you! How are you doing? Great, I'm free again! Very good, and how's your asthma? It's not giving me any problems at all now. I got one of those inhaler things. I even got to choose the color. Really? What did you go for? I... 
I ended up getting three. I couldn't make up my mind. By the way, Doc, I love the new look. New look? Oh, nothing. Huh. I wonder what they're on about. <laughs> That's cool that Larissa ended up getting out. Uh, today's the first time I met a former patient of mine in town. Feels strange. I really hope Larissa will learn to live with her asthma. Yeah, and learn to not smoke. Don't, don't do it. It's not worth it. It's gross. I have a very bad feeling I am going entirely the wrong way. I was hoping this might, like, connect to the basketball court we were at. Um, but you know what? If I hadn't gone this way... That's a really big building. Um, I might not have, uh, met Larissa. Looks like school's out for the day. Oh man, you really start missing your time in school when those days are gone. Well, not the time in school, exactly. More like time, generally. There used to be so much of it. That is very true. Do I miss all the tests and exams? Oh, hey, we did meet up here. Um, and stress of it? No. Do I miss my friends and just the lack of responsibility? Yes. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're just gonna go up here. Kind of like we did last night, except the opposite way. Pass by the pretty pond again. Oh, there we go. And we got some cars. I wonder if one of these is, uh... Dr. Kowalski's car. Or even, um... Dr. Theobald, I think it was. Alrighty, friends. I think... I might actually wrap up this episode a little bit earlier than I would have otherwise. I figure we did a bit of a longer one last time. I'll try to keep this one on the shorter side. Um, but when we return, we're gonna be going in for our very first night shift back at the hospital. Thank you guys so, so very much for watching, and hopefully I will see you all in the next one.